Hi guys, this is Ashley from TS Company underscore one back with another exclusive. We will be talking Sweetie, um, Megan, Dolja Cat, Nikki, Beyonce, Rihanna, and Young Miami. Okay. So before we get into anything, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, make sure you turn on post notifications. This exclusive is strictly for entertainment purposes only. Okay. So we're gonna be talking about Sweetie right now. Okay. So that's for the first topic. So Sweetie did this um, freestyle back in 2018, and she said in her um, new interview how traumatic it was, um, you know, because Ebro and his gang were laughing. Um, but what people fail to realize is that a lot of Sweetie's peers, um, you know, people that she works with, um, people on radio, don't really think that Sweetie is that talented. Okay, now whether you think that Sweetie is talented is your personal preference, but a lot of people don't think that she's talented and it shows. Um, she did the freestyle in front of J. Cole a few years back and he didn't look amused. And she did the same thing with Ebro and he didn't look amused either. You know, they, they think she's pretty, um, likable, charming, you know, very profitable. You know, that's why she should go into modeling and acting. But a lot of people don't think that Sweetie is talented and that's just the honest truth. Okay. Now she makes decent records, you know, got, uh, got a few bops, but when it comes to bars um, having a, um, good lyrics, she lacks in that department. Okay. And I believe people are going to start vocalizing that more, especially now that she doesn't have Quavo to kind of stick up for her because the last time academics went at sweetie a few months back, um, Quavo, um, said something to him. So now that she doesn't have Quavo to really back her up, you can expect more people to really vocalize how they feel about Sweetie, okay? Allegedly, a lot of people feel like Sweetie is stuck up, you know, and she has an attitude problem. That's what they've been saying, not me, okay? Now we're going to go into this women history list that Beyonce posted on her website. Um, and there were a few people missing off this list, okay? Dolce Cat and Nikki and sweetie well you know as you guys all know and i've said it plenty of times that you know that relationship is a little strained over the years due to you know um the queen of music's husband okay and with that being said you should not expect to see dolja cat or nikki on that list you know what happened with dolja cat already did um, an exclusive on that, you know, how she was running her mouth. Okay. And what she was saying in interviews. And then we know Nikki is blacklisted. Okay. So this list is for people that, you know, the queen of music messes with, you know, people that she admires and people that she works with, you know, Mariah Carey, she's on, you know, Hove's label. She's under, you know, rock. Um, so is Kelly Rowland, okay? And, you know, she has that relationship with Serena. Now, Cardi B is on that list. And um, I do feel like eventually, you know, the Carters will be working with Cardi B in the future, okay? Now, it might not be music, but it will definitely be stuff behind the scenes. You know, Doja Cat, you know, she already had worked um, with Rock and... It did not work out for her and she did do an interview and did complain about it and it got back to them. So what the future holds for Doja Cat um, in regards to that relationship, I think is probably done. Okay. Unless she apologizes. Okay. And then people were saying that, you know, how comes, you know, Doja Cat had issues collaborating with Nikki, but Megan didn't. Well, Megan's video for Hot Girl Summer got held back. Okay. It came out a month after the song came out. Okay. And from what I got back, she was told that the video wasn't going to go number one or the song wasn't going to go number one. Okay. So, and it didn't go number one. And I like that song. You know, I did like Hot Girl Summer. But, you know, things that happen behind the scenes, you can't really control them. And I think Nikki knows that now. 
You can only be strategic and move forward, okay? You can't really hold on to the past because there's nothing you can really change, okay? So going forward, um, I think Nikki's going to be more strategic about what she's going to um, do and who she's going to collaborate with. I really don't think Nikki really cares about this list, but someone asked me to do a video on it, so I am doing it. Um, but I do think the only way she will collaborate with Megan or Cardi if a big bag is attached to it, okay? Because money talks, like Sweetie says. And she got paid $1.5 million to do the record with um, 6 9 okay? And of course she did it, you know, because, you know, she has a relationship with him, but... You know, if there was no bag involved, I don't think Nikki really would have done it. And I think it's going to be the same for Megan and um, Cardi and Doja Cat if they want another um, feature. Okay. So moving forward, I think Nikki's going to be more strategic. Um, she, her relationship with the Carters is is done. There's no reason to go back and forth about it. Um, she's going to be cordial to them, but I think she's going to have the, her guard up because of all the stuff she has experienced behind the scenes, okay? And Nikki's smart. Nikki's very smart, and she knows um, who's for her and who is against her. So you can smile in her face, you can send her baby gifts, but she knows the real, okay? She knows who really messes with her, like Ariana Grande, 50 Cent, um, Winnie, you know, the people that have been there from the jump and didn't switch up during the Sheetha record, okay? So I really don't think she cares too much about this woman history or, um, you know, women entertainers list. I think that, you know, is really like, okay, and that's how I think she feels about it, okay? I think she's more focused about how she's going to do things differently um, this coming era to make sure things are not messy and she's not in any drama, okay? So moving forward, hopefully she does the right thing and get the right features, okay? No more, you know, of these Little Wayne features, just features that people really want her to do, like with Mulatto, Dolja Cat, you know, Lauren Hill, Kendrick Lamar, those type of features, okay? And then everything else, she can just put to the back burner, okay? As for how Nikki really feels about Dolja Cat, from what I hear, she doesn't have any major issues with Dolja. She doesn't really trust her 100% due to her other relationships with other female rappers, okay? I'm not going to mention any names, but she does have her guard up with Dolja Cat because um, she feels like, you know, these people, these rappers, they switch up uh, when it's convenient for them, you know, when they feel like they don't need Nikki anymore, they switch up, okay? As for Rihanna wanting to collaborate with Young Miami, I don't understand this at all, Okay. Um, if you guys haven't looked, um, Hollywood Unlocked posted who should Rihanna do a feature with if she releases music, and um, she put Carisha out of everyone on that list. Cardi B and Doja Cat would make the most sense. I don't understand why she would pick Carisha when she's not as talented as these other chicks, okay? Lyrically, she doesn't have the bars. Um, she can't really stay on beat. Um, she's more like G Herbo when it comes to being on a beat. She's never on it. She's always doing something else. And I just don't understand why Rihanna would do that. But then I thought Rihanna likes to troll. So Rihanna has to be trolling. There's no way she really would choose Carisha over JT. Make it make sense. See, this is the stuff I'd be talking about with, with Rihanna. Okay. Now, um, if Rihanna got her voice back, um, which I don't believe she did, I'm going to wait until she sings live, okay? Um, and she can do um, a streaming concert like Danny Lake. And you can, even though you can stream somebody singing live, you can tell when they're really singing. Like Danny Lake, she was out of breath. Um, you can tell. 
and um, allegedly she is pregnant. But going back to Rihanna, I'm going to wait until she sings live. I'm not going to believe anything that I hear over a recording song because things can be manipulated um, when it comes to vocal range, auto-tune, and having different technology. So I'm going to wait until I hear her sing live. And if I hear Sia or Avril Lavigne in the background, I will know um, that Rihanna has lost her voice, okay, allegedly, okay? Um, I hear that it's not the same, and I've been hearing that for months now, and I'm going to stick to it, okay? So that's all I have for you guys. If you guys like this exclusive, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. This exclusive for strictly for entertainment purposes only.